a win filled with a heavy heart. 19 straight for the Quinnipiac women's basketball team in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference semifinals. It defeats the Monmouth Hawks 66 to 59, but its senior captain, the engine of its offense, Maria Napolitano, sidelined, just played 11 minutes in the game. An apparent knee injury will keep her out for the championship game. Welcome to The Rebound, presented by Q30 Television and Q30 Sports. I'm Mari hirsch and joined alongside Quinnipiac women's basketball beat reporter John Franklin. And John, the loss of Maria Napolitano is huge, but her presence on the bench will still remain the same. Like you said, it's huge. She is an unmatched player on this team. She does it all, defensively, offensively. The team hasn't gotten better production out of anyone besides Maria Napolitano. She's been a captain and a force. And when you came to the presser today, you noticed that there was a heavy heart with this team after the loss. The win almost felt like a loss when she was in here. And you asked Coach Trisha Fabry, is it going to be more important to win this championship without Maria? And she said, absolutely, yes. It's huge that she goes down now, but they really want to win this one for her. Six points and one steal for the senior from Cincinnati, Ohio, in what we expect to be her last game in a Quinnipiac uniform. But Trisha Fabry said the grit and the toughness that they showed this afternoon is just a microcosm of what they've done all season long. An 0-3 start in conference play, down 10 to Marist at home, come back and win in the winning streak, down 11 to Iona at home, come back and win all a part of the winning streak. So what about the grit and toughness will propel them in tomorrow's championship game? Well, they have to find someone who's going to try to replace Napolitano, and it's not just going to be one player. Like I said, she gives too much production, whether it's defensively or offensively. Offensively, a person that's going to have to step up is Morgan Manns. She put up 13 points in today's effort. Really good, really strong coming off the bench. But she's not as much of an all-around player as Napolitano is. The all-around player that I'm looking at personally is Adelie Martucci. She had eight points in the game today, as well as a very strong defensive effort. I think she's gonna be the go-to person for Fabry coming off the bench. Eight points, five rebounds, two assists, two steals. Martucci filled the box score. Carly Fabry, another guard who could step up. Six points, four assists, no turnovers as the point guard. But let's look to the bigs. We had talked in our preview that the big men were, you know, the matchup of the game. It was Mitchell down low for Mammoth against the trident of Schuin, Stroutmanet, and McClure. Specifically, though, the freshmen paid dividends for the Bobcats. Oh, absolutely. Stroutmanet and McClure come out 21 points between the two of them, 20 rebounds. Very strong, very good effort, especially against someone, the tallest player in the MAC in Mitchell. Six foot four, she's a beast. But they stifled her. Nine rebounds a game. She didn't get that this one. She wasn't as much of a factor as. I thought she was going to be, as we talked about in that preview previously, I think going forward these bigs are going to be huge, especially against either Iona or Maris, depending on who they draw. So Maris or Iona awaits that game is currently in the first quarter now, Iona out to a, a little bit of a lead, but who would you rather face if you're Trisha Fabry and company? Is it Iona or is it Maris who's been to a championship game quite some time? Maury, the obvious answer is Iona. It's not even close. They do have Joy Adams and Marina Lizarazu, two all-MAC players, but they don't have the depth. They don't have what Marist has in Tori Jarose, that big player, the player of the year in the MAC. She's very talented. Sydney Coffey could justifiably as, as well could have been the player of the year in the MAC. Marist is good, and especially with Brian Georges at the helm, it's going to be tough. Always a dogfight. It would be the third consecutive season that Quinnipiac and Maris face each, face each other in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Championship. And if it's Iona, it would be round two of 2016. The teams both met in the final regular season game uh, late in February. Quinnipiac took that one for the regular season championship by 18 points. John, thanks for stopping by. Always a pleasure, Maury. For more information and championship previews and championship exclusive footage, check out our website at q30television.com. Make sure to be peeled to that. You can also check us out on social media at Q30 Sports and at Q30 Television. For Andrew Badillo, Josh Silverman, Tom Cunningham, and my partner, John Franklin, I'm Maury Hirsch-Gordon. We'll see you on Championship Monday.